Turn the breakfast nook lights off. Okay. It's not that I don't want you here. Yeah. It's not about the way you set my eyes. I know that I don't make this clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist you. We can get away. Palm trees, beach views, food and everything. All I want to hear is that this is how we play. Right next to you. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a minute since I posted, and here's why. So I just wanted to tell y'all, like this video is all over the place, and that's because I've been working on the book, and I just got my Dunkin'. This is a Ice Turtle Signature Latte. But yeah, I've been working on the book, and it's done at this point, the journal is done. So I've been having to go through the editing process, like the final editing process, coming up with the emails that are going to be in the funnel for you guys to click on so you can join my email list and for people who maybe are not as familiar with as familiar with me so that they when they click on it they'll be enticed to join my my marketing list um i'll be the website is also getting done so um the landing page for my vip list which is going to be part of my pre-launch um of the book so anybody who's on that vip list will get a free copy of the book and there's just all the stuff around launch and like launch strategy and how what i'm gonna offer and all that kind of stuff so it's been it's been a process and i'm still kind of in it but almost done so that is where i've been and what i've been doing and why i have not been posting on youtube but the book is almost ready it'll be the launch our official launch day now is june 22nd i know in this video i say it's in may and it used to be but we had to push it back so we can make sure it would be done right and everything would be um we would have time to do everything correctly so that is where we are now and that is where i've been so i just wanted to preface this video saying that that's the reason i've been gone for so long and pretty soon you guys are going to be able to see um, all the work that I've been doing and you'll be able to join my VIP list and you'll be able to get your free copy of the book and you'll be able to do all the things and you'll see why it took me so long to post. <laughs> okay, y'all, so let's do a quick recap. Cody's blinds are up in her closet. I love them. They look so good. Still debating on whether or not I'm going to put these same blinds in her and Corey's rooms. Um, we'll talk more about that probably in another video, but I just wanted to show y'all that they're up and they look really good. The old chandelier is down. The new chandelier is up. And um, I had Bernie install it. We were going to pay somebody, but then he was like, I think I can do that. And he did. He did it fine. Um, and then here are the crystals for the chandelier. The chandelier is from our house. The crystals are actual crystal. And I love them. It's so pretty. So the chandelier looks really, really good. I love the way the crystals gleam. And then I had a work trip. Had to go to D.C., for our staff retreat. So this is me at with my supervisor at a rooftop bar. Now I'm back home. <laughs> and I bought these smart bulbs for the chandelier and these can be operated with Alexa. And you guys, I ordered Factor. If you've never heard of Factor, it's like a meal delivery service, kind of, it's like pre-portioned meals. So I ordered 19 meals in my first order and these are for like easy meal prep. So if you don't wanna do the work to meal prep, you can buy these. They have good macros and literally microwave two minutes and you're ready to eat. Link is below if you wanna try it out. Good morning. We're about to get a delivery for Cody's couch, finally. I ordered it in December. Today is March 25th, so that's how long it took. <laughs> Truck is outside. Her couch is gonna go right here. So I'll show y'all. If I can show y'all what it looks like while they're doing it, I will. If not, I'll show y'all when we're done. Oh no, it's gonna go. The whole thing is gonna go here. It looks so cute. It's so cute. Ignore this. She put a hole like a dent in the wall so i'm patching it but it looks so good it's so cute so cute sit on it you really could put like three people on it too in the middle we can, i'll get um we can have a movie night yeah you can have one tonight do you want to come? <laughs> Alright, y'all. I just left TJ Maxx. 
Um, and I got this gooseneck mount. I'll show you the other stuff I got too, but I just wanted to try this out because I really need a um, car mount for my phone since I'm usually on my phone when I'm recording in the car. So I'm going to open it and then I'll show y'all what it looks like once I get it up. We'll try it out and then we'll do a haul um, using it. So let's do that. Oh yeah, this is not as easy as you would think. Okay. Oh, it don't want to work. Hold on. Okay. I don't like it. <laughs> but it's work. I mean, it's I guess it's working fine good enough. I don't know. But anyway, let me show you all the rest of the stuff I got. Uh oh. So I got a bunch of like skincare and uh makeup. So starting off with this. Ah, for refining Neutrogena toner. My nails are atrocious, so ignore that. But anyways, um, yeah, pore refine, refining toner by Neutrogena. I'm getting pores. Like I've never had um issues with my pores, and now in my 30s, it's like it's acting up. So I need to fix that. Um, and then I also got this collagen and elastin hydrolyzed serum. The brand is Skin Lab. So we're gonna try that out. And these Skin Lab products were actually pretty inexpensive. This one was $6.99. This Neutrogena was $3.99. I got some day and night lip care. Hopefully that I like this because this was kind of like on the expensive side. This was $5.99 for a day and night lip balm. But the lip, the it says day moisture lip serum and night lip balm. So yeah, we're gonna try that out. And then I got some hyaluronic acid moisture toner so another toner but it also moisturizes um i think this is from the reviews that i read online while i was in the store this one is more like a more like a moisturizing serum um so it's like a like a jelly a gel almost so it goes it goes into the skin deeper than like a cream moisturizer so i think it absorbs better and faster um and some comments that i read were like it preps your skin really well for serums so yeah um we'll put this on and then we'll go in with the serum that i bought the um skin lab serum at night so yeah trying that out this was 6.99 and then i got a contour palette hopefully it works good we'll see probably should have got the milani one from walmart maybe i should take this back and get the milani one because i feel like that might be a better a better contour palette for my skin I don't know I tried out it was five dollars and then I got this uh, revolution makeup revolution palette um, I am somebody who really just likes the browns uh, I probably won't do too many like how much was this $5.99 yeah you can't really beat the price so we'll see I don't know if I really am gonna like this but we gonna see. I might regret some of these purchases. But yeah, that's what was in that bag. And then I got a perfume. I am not usually like a perfume girl, but I wanna start wearing perfume more. So first of all, I like the bottle of this one, but I also really, really like the way it smells. It's the um, Bare Vanilla Blossom. It smells really, really good. It's like, um, almost like almost like warm vanilla sugar from um bath and uh, bath and body works yeah almost like that but i don't know um i'm still kind of on the fence about it i'm gonna let it linger um for the day and then we'll see if i still like it later i'm gonna spray it on myself And then if I like the way it smells by the end of the day, I'll keep it. If not, I'll take it back. And that's how we'll do that. So, I'm also going to let my opinions um, linger about that, those palettes too. I'm about to go on Walmart, so I'll see what else I find in there. But then I found this pot. This little, this little pot is so cute. Ah, I don't have a pot like this that has a handle. 
the smaller one so um, I have like the double handled bigger pots but I don't have like a, a sauce pot so grab this one this was $16.99 oh and the perfume was $12.99 and other than that the only other thing I got was I can't reach it but some Tarani syrup in the flavor white chocolate so that was it I don't know if I like this perfume Hmm. we'll let it marinate and we'll see I can always bring it back tomorrow I'm about to go on Walmart grab a few things and then head home my dad is there he wants to make a cheesecake he wants me to help him make a cheesecake so I'm gonna do that and then I don't know uh, I don't really have plans plans for today I haven't vlogged in forever so I know this video is like I don't know if this is a new video or an old video like that I'm still adding stuff to because I've been all over the place recently <laughs> like with the staff retreat and like all the other stuff that's been happening i just have not had time to like really blog or vlog um so yeah it's i'm sure this video is very very much all over the place but my apologies in advance because i just my life is all over the place right now uh the book is like we're at the end it's coming out on the launch official launch day is march may 25th um so we have two months almost to the day actually no two months to the day today is march 25th so it's coming out may 25th and um y'all are going to be learning more and more about that in upcoming videos because we are having like putting together a launch strategy and all that right now which is going to include a lot of you guys um getting free copies for joining my mailing list so oh also i'm getting my website done i just submitted a payment for that so yeah we're we're getting we're getting to it we are getting to it so things are coming the things are happening slowly but they're coming and i'm excited for y'all to like see the finished website see the book read the book get the journal all the things so yeah that's where we are um i think that's it as far as updates uh, did y'all see that? Y'all saw the chandelier. Y'all saw the table. Y'all saw the couch, Cody's new couch, which just came today. And I think that's it as far as new furniture. I do have some new Amazon stuff at home that I need to show y'all. So we can do that when I get home. But other than that, I think I haven't really been buying a ton of stuff. So, all right, I'm about to go on Walmart, grab a couple things that we need, and then I'm heading home. I got my coffee from Dunkin'. It ain't that good. I need to put some more creamer in it. And yeah. So I'll see y'all when I get home. Okay, y'all. We okay, so we're back home. I'm gonna run through the groceries quick because those I really didn't get that many groceries because we didn't need a ton of groceries. Um, and I want to try to use up the food that we already have. But um, I got some strawberries for smoothies. I got a couple bags of frozen strawberries. And then I also got some frozen cauliflower also for smoothies I feel like I can just throw that into smoothies to add some extra veggies and some extra micronutrients some chopped spinach same reason also to cook you can also obviously cook spinach and eat it as a side and then this I'm either going to do use as a slaw I was thinking about making some barbecue jackfruit sandwiches so I can use this to make some slaw and then the rest I can saute and have as a veggie um, with a meal um, and then this toaster is not obviously not groceries, but um, this is only six dollars at Walmart. So we don't currently have a toaster. I figured this was a good for now toaster. It's only a single slice toaster, but I feel like a lot of times they're just eating like one piece of toast, or you know, or they can just you know put them in one after the other if they want to do two. But we've been for the last five months <laughs> since we moved in, we've been using the oven on broil so better than nothing I mean I have a problem using the oven honestly but I know sometimes it requires you to really be paying attention and they be, it we all be burning stuff because we be walking away um, and then I got some white some organic quinoa y'all this has oh wait when I was looking online it said quinoa had oh I think it said quinoa had like 20 grams of protein for a cup so I'm wondering 
if that was uncooked or cooked. Now I'm like, is this even worth it? Because a quarter cup is only six grams of protein. A quarter cup of dry. And how much of this can I actually put into a smoothie? And it's 170 calories for a quarter cup of dried quinoa. And I don't really like the way quinoa tastes. So this probably will go back because it ain't really doing what I thought it was going to do. I should have read the, um, the bag in the store. And then I just grabbed some bacon and to make breakfast sandwiches this week. Some vegetable oil spray, some lentils. These are also a good source of protein. Nine grams of protein and a quarter cup of dry lentils. And I probably am gonna make some kind of like Indian lentil soup or lentil dog or something like that. And we can just um, eat it with like potatoes or whatever, rice. I love in Indian lentil dishes, they're so good. Um, and then some complete seasoning. This is like a staple. I love having this stuff on hand. It goes in literally everything. And then eggs are finally going back down. These were three dollars and thirty-seven cents last week. They were like seven or eight dollars. <laughs> so I am excited about eggs finally going back down because they were so ridiculously expensive for so long. And then let's get into the clearance stuff. Well, first of all, this toaster was a clearance item. This was on clearance. I might have to go back and get a couple more. I've never tried this flavor though, so I wanted to try it first before I committed to like buying a ton. But um, I love LaCroix Key Lime Water. This is the grapefruit. I've never tried this one. Once I try it and I know it's good, I'll go back. But this was $2. So yeah, had to get that. Let me put this quinoa back in the bag so I can take it back on my next trip. And then last couple of, oh, last few grocery items. This is one of my favorite creamers, especially for like just adding creaminess without a lot of calories. This is 10 calories per tablespoon. It's unsweetened. Um, and then this is my first time trying the toasted marshmallow flavor. So yes, yeah, the Nut Pods creamer. I love this. And then also got some more bananas. I got some fresh broccoli a cucumber and some sweet potatoes to roast so we can have some baked sweet potatoes i like just baking these baking them like i'll just bake all four and then put them into like a gallon ziploc bag and then whenever i want a side or a snack i can just heat this up and eat a sweet potato so obviously really good nutrients in that and then the last thing I'm trying, which I'm sure is not, nobody's new to this product because you've seen probably, if you watch any, um, a lot of influencers who promote a healthy lifestyle, then you've probably seen this multiple times, but it's the Olipop, excuse me, the Olipop sodas. So I'm trying these out. I got the root beer and also got the strawberry vanilla. So we'll see how these taste. And everything else that I bought was because it was on clearance. None of this stuff was on my list, including that toaster and including this uh, sparkle of water. Um, these towels were 50 cents. So I got five of them. I figured these would be good when I'm taking the kids to the pool or um, maybe like as a hand towel. I don't know how good they would be for actually drying it. Well, I mean, it's pretty good. Pretty good size, actually. So yeah, 50 cents for these. So I just got all of them that they had in the store. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these into the wash today. Or if I take the kids to the pool, I'll let them use these at the pool today. And then we'll throw them into the wash. Let me go ahead and put all this stuff away and then we'll get into the rest of the stuff that is that I got. Like, 
this is all the clothes I got. My total for everything that I bought, groceries and clothes and toaster and everything was 128. Like that is crazy. So let me show y'all all the clothes that I got. So some things I got twice because I got one for Cody and one for Corey. Some things I only got for Corey, but one was these little um, like crop tops. So this one's for Corey, probably won't be able to wear it until next year. And this one is for Cody. So she can probably wear it this summer. Let me separate their stuff, put Cody's over here. And then I got this dress and these, uh, these crop tops were $1 each. This dress was $3. They only had Corey's size, so I got her one for next year. This is actually probably not gonna fit her until the year after next, cause it's a seven, eight, but we'll see. And then I got her a few of these little shirts. These were a dollar each. So this little mermaid, I'm sorry, unicorn one. And then another another little unicorn one. These are all size seven because I feel like these run a little bit smaller for her to wear next um, fall, winter. Um, oh, these are all unicorns. I didn't realize that. But these were, like I said, all $1. And then this little vest, which is so freaking cute. I think this is going to be so cute next year, was $5. And y'all, look at this sweatshirt. It is so cute. This was five dollars. More of the little one dollar shirts. So this one says love, brave, smart, fierce, cool, awesome. Cool, awesome, and so nice. And this one is a size six. So she may need to wear this like now, but it just says fierce. We'll see how it fits. Um, this another one that's like super duper cute was three dollars so it's just a little sweatshirt with the um like chambray shirt hanging out the bottom sorry y'all I, I just adjusted my camera i just realized i was cutting my head off so i'm sorry about that because i'm sure y'all would like girl if you don't fix that camera but yeah so um this is some more stuff they both got another little crop top these were three dollars so that is cody's this one is corey's and then these little like structured tees were $1. So here's Cody's and here is Corey's. They also had the sweatpants to go with these tees. So um, I got this tee in, so here are the sweatpants to go with this uh, purple one and it was they were $5. So the whole outfit was $6. And then um, here is the maroon tee for Cody, also $1. And then here's Corey's. And then I got the pants to go with it for Corey. Again, they were $5 and then they had them in Cody's size. So I got her some too. Hopefully they'll fit her. And then we're down to like the last few things. This is was five dollars super cute like little chevron pattern tracksuit type of sweatshirt and then they had another um of those vests in a different color i figured cody would like this color better so i got her this one this was five dollars and then this little dress was this is for corey was um three dollars and then these little pants. This one is like, almost like a cargo, but they don't have pockets on the legs, but so cute. They're like rolled up at the bottom. These are super cute. These were $5. And then these little leggings, which I think these leggings would be so cute with this. Like if she wore this outfit together because these leggings are like almost velvety in texture. These are $3, but yeah, almost velvety in texture and they have like some ribbing. They're so cute. But yeah, that's everything that we got from Walmart. I try to shop off season. If I see clearance racks, I'm gonna shop because <laughs> you can't beat these prices. This stuff was like normal price for this 
These little leggings were $12. I got them for, for three. Normal price for this sweatshirt was $20. I got it for three. Normal price for these pants was 18 or eight. They were $18. I got them for five. The normal price for this is covered up, so I can't see that. But this sweatshirt, the normal price was 18. I got it for five. So yeah, this stuff is, the free assembly stuff at Walmart is really good quality. So yeah, highly suggest you guys go to Walmart, check out their stuff, see what you like, because this stuff is a steal right now. Hopefully you live in a like less populated area or you can drive to a less populated area where you can like really rock up. <laughs> Cause I live in the country. So the clearance racks where I live are always like really well stocked because there are not as many people shopping the store where I live as there would be like where I used to live in the DC area. So yeah, I can usually get really good deals at my Walmart. All right, y'all, I'm about to go put all this stuff away. I'm just so... Hey guys, okay, so where did we leave off? I, yeah, I'm so sorry. I know these videos, the, the last video and this video have been like so all over the place. Um, I'm trying to remember where I think the last time I saw y'all, we were supposed to be unboxing <laughs> Amazon stuff, which I still haven't done. I need to, to do that. Um, I'll probably do it tomorrow because it'll be, I'm off tomorrow, tomorrow, Saturday which means I have some extra time to, you know, really dive into Amazon deliveries. There really isn't much to unbox, um, but I do have a few things. Some other things that we need to do, well, I need to do is definitely hang up the rest of the crystals on the chandelier. They've been, the chandelier has been up for at least, probably almost two weeks and I still haven't added all the crystals. So tomorrow morning we can also do that. I'm gonna get up early and then we'll do the unboxing. We'll also do the chandelier and what else? I think, I think that's it as far as like what absolutely needs to be done tomorrow. Um, I'm going to a birthday party tomorrow evening. It's one of my friend's birthday. She's turning 41. So I'm gonna go to her birthday party tomorrow. Also, I, I'm supposed to be taking the kids to an ice cream shop um, in the playground, but I know it's calling for rain, so we'll see if I'm able to do that or not. Because if it's raining, I don't know how we're gonna go to the park. Nah, that don't sound like it's gonna work to me. <laughs> uh, my hair's a mess, ignore that. Um, so yeah, that's really it. I haven't really been buying much. We have been on a budget the last couple, the last month. Uh, we started our budget at the beginning of March, I want to say. And the reason for the budget is because not only did we just buy that furniture, which I put on a zero interest, zero percent interest credit card. Oh, I need something to drink. I put it on a zero percent interest credit card because I don't do interest. <laughs> um, that particular card has zero interest, zero percent interest for 18 months. And when that 18 months is over, Sorry about that. My camera died. Well, no, it didn't die. My, I'm using my phone. It didn't die. It just ran out of storage. And it stopped recording. Um, so this morning, I went ahead and cleared some space. Deleted some videos that I've already uploaded. All that. So, have a little bit more space to work with today. I think where I left off was I was telling y'all that I got um, a 0% interest rate credit credit card for the purpose of buying furniture and it's good for eight or that that introductory zero percent interest rate lasts for 18 months and i got it right when blah, 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 blah. i got it right when we moved in so we are now seven months and i want to say i think april makes eight months oh time is flying okay wait we moved in september 9th october november december january february march april seven months seven months in on the 9th today is April 1st and um yeah so yeah I don't I don't like paying interest so I'll make sure I have a zero percent interest credit card with the high limit so that I can you know make these major purchases and not pay it off in a month 
our plan for paying off the furniture that we just bought and that includes all of the living room furniture that includes the um chandelier i paid half of that paid for half of that order the chandelier and the bench and then i added the um so i paid for half of the chandelier and the bench when i placed the order but then when i was checking out and paying the second half i added the bedding that's on my bed that y'all already mm, i think y'all are gonna see. it happened before this so y'all will see it i feel like this is all the same video because there's so much stuff happened um so yeah we got the our house delivery if it's not this video then it's the last one because i don't know if i'm how, how i'm gonna split it up i feel like maybe i should split up the big stuff into two separate videos and not have all these deliveries in one video because i think the table the chandelier the bench cody's uh couch in her room all that stuff got delivered within the last couple weeks so i want to kind of split that into two different videos so i'll just add some more stuff to it to break it up a little bit but yeah so um yeah all that stuff is is a part of this money that we're spending <laughs> like all this stuff happened around the same time because pottery barn doesn't they charge you initially but then the charge drops off and then when it's time to actually deliver or they're they're ready to start setting up the delivery they'll recharge you so we got recharged for her um her couch and so that's the couch our the bench that's in our room the bedding that's in our room it's a quilt and some shams um and then the chandelier the new table that we just bought and all the furniture that's in the living room so that's a lot of stuff that's like a lot of money and we've just been we were like okay let's take two months and get on a budget like a serious budget and let's like pay it all off so that's what we've been doing we paid we're down to like sixty five hundred dollars left from everything um and we'll pay that off next month so then we'll be ready to do some more shopping <laughs> actually no we won't because we about to buy a new car so what we're going to do is um pay that off and then we'll start saving once we save our down payment then that's when we'll um, buy the car, unless something happens to this car first. If something happens to this car first, then we're gonna have to buy a car sooner and just use our savings to pay the down payment because we were trying to not touch our savings at all. And that's, you know, that's that's what we're doing. Oh, I'm gonna take y'all with us because I'm taking the kids to um, an ice cream shop later in the park. If it's not too wet and too cold, no, it's not gonna be cold today. It's gonna be like 70 degrees today. Yeah, so if it's not too wet, because I think it's about to start raining, it's supposed to rain. You can look at the sky. Yeah, it's supposed to rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain all day. And then I can take the kids to get ice cream and go play at the park for a little bit. If it's not like just soaking wet there after it rains. Maybe it's gonna hold off. It, I, it don't look like it though. The, the sky looks like it's gonna open up any second. But yeah, let me look at my coffee and then I'll meet y'all back at home. No sooner than I said the sky looks like it's about to open up, did it start raining. <laughs> All right, y'all, I didn't make it home yet. I'm in Walmart right now. But I gotta show y'all this because I know a lot of y'all are mothers and you have little girls. So look at this. Like, how cute is this little jean jacket? I don't have a toddler anymore, so I can't get it for Corey because she wears big girls now. But this is so cute. And look at the price. Yeah. Y'all need to come get this if you have a little girl. The brand is uh, Wonder Nation. I'm going a, I'm to a, uh, get the link to it and link it below so that y'all don't have to actually come to Walmart and find it. It's just cuteness overloading here. It is cuteness overload. Go to Walmart or just go online and grab some of this Wonder Nation little girl stuff. All right, we're back to a normal camera. I got y'all propped up on my vlogging mini tripod. Got the Amazon deliveries. My eye is twitching and I don't know why. Let me get a scissor, some scissors. Okay, so let's get into deliveries y'all I think that I ordered something I forgot I ordered because somebody asked me about Kane's uh bed and I was like let me go find a link and when I was like scrolling through my purchases I ordered a duvet 
I thought that I still needed to order a new duvet. I told y'all I don't really like the texture of the duvet I have along with the texture of the quilt that I got to go on my bed. So I kind of feel like I need a non-textured duvet cover with the textured quilt. And I think I ordered it. So, we're gonna see. What's this? Oh, I ordered a new toothbrush. I actually left my, um, my toothbrush at the hotel when I went to the staff retreat. So this is a new electric toothbrush. This one actually comes with an app. It's Bluetooth, comes with an app, and it allows you, do I have on product mode? It allows you to, um, is it focusing? I think it's focusing. Yeah, it allows you to be able to like know if you, it, the app tells you if you miss spots or like it times how long you're brushing and it also um, has a pressure indicator. The indicator lights up in red when the pressure is too, when there's too much pressure. Um, and it also reminds you to like floss and do uh, mouthwash and all that kind of stuff. So it, it's a cool little, little thing. So we'll see how that works out. Oh, and then this is Bernie's favorite body wash. So I just keep this on repeat. I have a subscription for this product so that he always has it. Um, and then let's use this one this box oh okay yes so i ordered not only a new oh wait no 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 no. this is a sheet set this isn't a duet so this is a new sheet set i'm gonna put this on our bed today and then also ordered some satin pillowcases so i didn't order a duvet cover i need to order a new duvet cover but here's the satin pillowcases these i found on a blog actually and um, I just clicked the link that was written in the blog. And I was like, I'll try them out. Product updates. This tumbler from Walmart. I love it. I've had it for like probably a month and a half now. Use it every single day. Love it. Uh, let me just double check my Amazon account. Y'all, this is going to be chatty because I haven't spent time with y'all in a long time. <laughs> so I'm going I'm to take this opportunity to be a little bit more chatty. No, I did not order a new duvet duvet cover. Um, I think I was trying to research a new duvet cover and then I found I ended up finding the sheets and the um satin pillowcases, but we can Yeah, this camera is tripping. Is it focused on my computer on my phone? I don't know. Yeah, we can put the duvet not I keep saying duvet. We can put the sheets on and we can put the pillowcases on and then we can kind of see how those work um but i need to order a new duvet cover i'm i think the reason i haven't ordered it yet is because i'm trying to decide on color because my bed is like a taupe color so i really feel like white is probably the best option but i think i want to go more toward a warmer white maybe like a creamish white and not like necessarily a bright white i love the color of the duvet cover we have right now it's white but it's called coconut so it's not like it's more milky and like it's less stark it's more i don't know i just like it i'm sorry if this looks weird because i really can't tell i'm looking at this monitor y'all my eyes are not as good as they used to be anyway yeah so i'm trying to decide on the color for a new duvet but what we can do oh let me sh let me not get sidetracked because the first thing I need to do is the chandelier. We need to finish putting the crystals on this chandelier. It needs to be done. Ain't no getting around it. I paid all that money for the chandelier and I need to fix it. I need to get it fully, completely up and done. Oh, and I need to show y'all the table that I'm sitting at right now. So let's do that. So the crystals come inside these little boxes. You hang them with these little black things i don't know what you want to call them let me show you up close what they look like so they are like little decorative pins that the lights hang on so one one side of this you bend them you bend the pins and then one side of it hangs on the metal and then the other side holds the light, the chandelier. The other side holds the crystal. So these are just extras of those little pins. 
because um, the chandelier came pre-installed with a bunch of them, but some of them were missing for whatever reason. Either, either they fell off before they made it into the box or they fell off after they were in the box or whatever. Um, but then inside this box, this is what the crystals look like. Ah, so they're all um, packaged nicely so that they don't get scratched. So each one, there's two in each one of these. And there's um, some of this foam between the crystals. So all you do is take the crystals out and then hang them from the, um, the pins onto the chandelier. I'm about to scoot this table over. Oh, or try to. And then I'm gonna prop y'all up over here so y'all can see me hanging. The lighting is gonna be bad, but hopefully, maybe I can put y'all over here. Might be better. It's so dark in here because it's so gloomy outside. Um, where can I put y'all to get the best view? That's done. It looks really good. Now I need to. Is my camera battery dying again? I just changed it and it said it was it was charged. I don't know. This is why I don't like using this camera because the battery die the batteries die so fast. But um oh, I wanted to show y'all the lights and I'm debating, so I'm gonna show y'all. These are the lights that I bought for it because I was like, oh, it would be cool to have smart lights and then that way we can. Um, you know, like control it from through Alexa and all the things. So I was like, yeah, let's go ahead and get smart light bulbs. So we did, but I just kind of feel like maybe, I mean, I guess it's fine. You can't really tell, um, but I don't like the fact that they are like halfway bulbs and halfway this white. So I'm kind of considering changing them for regular bulbs. But I don't know if it's that deep because I have to like send these back and then order new bulbs. I mean, they're a lot cheaper if I were to get the just plain straight up bulbs. But also like the fact that with the smart bulbs, you can change the temperature of the lighting. So if I wanted to do like a super yellow moody lighting, I could. If I wanted to do more of like a white, bright white lighting, I could do that. So I just get more options. You get more options with the smart lights. Turn the chandelier lights on purple. Sorry, I didn't find a group or device named chandelier lights. Oh shoot, it's breakfast nook. Lord, turn the breakfast nook lights on purple. Okay. So that worked, all of them are purple. Turn the breakfast nook lights off. Okay. And there we go. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs um, and then I'm just gonna use my phone from now on because this is annoying. It's like 30 minutes later. I ain't been upstairs yet, but I'm about to take them, get them ready and take them to the ice cream shop because I just want to get that over with. It's already 1130. So by the time we leave, it'll probably be 12, 1230. And then we got to drive there and then we got to, you know, get the ice cream and then we got to see if the park is open. Like we need to get a move on because the day is going to start flying once we, it's already flying. So let me just get them ready and I'll see y'all when we get there. The mom lost her livelihood because of an accident at work. The injured man. And our job is to make justice happen. We're Alan and Alan, protecting the injured since 1910. Scott the Scots here. Do you hear that? Bring the mic in close. Terrific action. 
gets three jump started ones. Kill sweeps, prevent the free wash, no rewash, money back guaranteed kind of different. Because Cascade Platinum Plus has double the race fighting power. Dawn built right in with twice the scrubbing power. All right, so we are back home. And I just opened up these, opened up the satin pillowcases. This is what they look like. However, they are way too big. So like, we have king size pillows and this is how much is left over. Like that's insane. So I just reordered, but I ordered the size down. So I got the standard pillowcases instead. Um, I'm about to pack these up so I can take them back. And they have a zip closure, which is something that I like about them. But yeah, they're supposed to come tomorrow. So I'll show y'all tomorrow when the smaller size comes. Cause they too big on both sides. They just huge. It's Sunday. It's, it's the next day, Sunday, and it is 11.38. And I do not, I'm at Walmart. I'm in the parking lot. I don't feel like going in, but I'm going to. I'm just really, I've been sitting in this parking lot for like probably an hour and a half. <sighs> to try to force myself to go inside. And just like looking at recipes online that I would want to make today because I plan to cook, eat, and chill. Cook, eat, and chill. That's really it for today. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm not doing anything else. Hell yeah. I'll be in the house. Maybe I'll take a bath. Um, obviously, tomorrow's Monday. It's a work day. But uh, the executive, y'all yeah, know I'm an executive. Y'all know I'm an executive assistant and the executive director is on spring break next week with his kids. So it'll be a really easy week for me. I won't really have a ton to do. Um, mainly just fielding requests and then like some projects that I already have in the works that I'll just be kind of working on. So I'm not really like stressed about, I mean, I'm never really stressed about going to work. I just be wanting to not. <laughs> It is what it is. I like my job. I, you know, if I had to work, this is a good job to have to work because it's very flexible. I can always like take days off when I want to, although I rarely do. I can also like get off early. If I say I'm tired, my supervisor will always say, okay, go ahead and log off early. Like on Friday, I logged off at one. She was like, I'm logging off at 12. Do you want to log off early? I said, I log off at one. She said, cool. Um, and then she was also, when we met on Friday, she was like, um, don't, you don't need to log on at your regular time. So typically I log on at 7.30 every morning because I like to get my work done and get off. <laughs> I don't like to be at work at 5, 6 o'clock. No, I work from 7.30 to 4.30. We get um, an hour lunch break, but three days a week we get an hour and a half. I typically take an hour and a half almost every day. Um, unless there's a lot happening, in which case I, sometimes I don't take a lunch break or I'll only take 30 minutes or I'll take only an hour. Um, but again, very flexible, a lot of, you know, wiggle room in that. And sometimes I work late, so it balances, it balances out. Um, but yeah, so I was just like browsing TikTok, browsing YouTube, getting some recipes and trying to figure out what we're going to eat today. So what I settled on was some chicken tacos, chicken pull apart tacos that looked really good. It was like shredded chicken that you just cook on the stove. It looked really good with like peppers, onions, and mozzarella cheese. And you use the sauce that the chicken cooks in. You put like some crushed tomatoes, some seasonings and all that. You use the sauce that the chicken cooks in. And then you um, put like dip the tortillas into that sauce and then make it like kind of like a birria. And then you just like fry the tacos on both sides once you put the chicken and the cheese. It looks so good. So I'm going to make that. But also, <laughs> I bought the like stir fry beef to make these beef noodles that I was going to make with like peppers and stuff. But um, then I saw, so I already had the ingredients for that. But then I saw another, then I was like, I saw something on TikTok that made me want kava. And then I was like, dang, now I want kava. So then I just added all the ingredients to make kava at home and that's what we're gonna have today. So I need to run in Walmart, grab all the ingredients. I've been procrastinating like crazy because I do not feel like going in here. I wish Cody was with me. I would send her in to get all the ingredients, but she ain't here. <sighs> I look terrible and this is just emphasizing it. So ignore it, okay? We're not gonna talk about it. But 
I forgot that they're having a neighborhood event today, an Easter event, because today's April 1st. Uh, no, April 2nd, from um, 2 to 4 at the model house in our neighborhood. So, it is 1.05. Like, I spent all that time in the um, parking lot and then in the grocery store. And now, it's after 1 and I just remembered. So, now I need to, like, see what the kids are doing if they want to, if they're still asleep or if they're, like, engaged with other stuff then I probably won't take them but if they're bored I probably will take them I don't want to but that means I have to do hair I have to get people dressed gotta you know do all the things make people look decent I don't have time to cut hair but I'll, I will do the girls hair and I'll just like slick mine back um I don't feel like it honestly I really don't feel like it but I don't want them to miss out I'm pulling up now I'm about to run in and we'll see how this goes trying to get ready to go but Corey had an accident in my bed so now I'm having to clean my mattress I had on that mattress protector but it still got through somehow so now I'm about to have like two or three mattress protectors on my mattress because ain't nobody got time for that but I used the carpet cleaner to get some I used some Folex and also used so I like used this spot chaser to spray some water and solution also put some Folex and I put who some um, oxyclean and I tried to soak it up but it's like soaking into the mattress faster than I can soak it up with um, the attachment right here <sighs> ignore the mess she was she slept in here last night it's just a mess thing. It's, it's a mess. Okay, we're we going to ignore it. But anyway, this is what the mattress looks like. You can't really, you can't tell. I got all the stain, the stain up. And now I'm just trying to get the wetness up so that when everything finishes washing, we can put it back down and change the sheets. I'm going to do the, I'm going to go ahead and put the clean, I mean the new sheets on since, um, since we got them. I'm going to go ahead and put them on. And no, I'm not tripping about washing the sheets before I put them on. That, I don't know, that gets me. Because people be like, ew, that's so nasty. You don't wash your sheets before you put them on. You don't wash your toothbrush before you put it in your mouth, do you? You buy a new toothbrush, you pop it right out that pack, and you start brushing your teeth. But that's not nasty. But not washing your sheets is nasty. <laughs> okay. Anyway, here we go. Looks good as new. You can't see any stains. So, no, yeah. Yeah. What is up, y'all? Good morning. Um, okay. Try to get some light in here. Um, so today is exciting. My birthday is actually tomorrow, and I'm gonna get a new car today. Um, I'm so excited. It's not like my like dream car, but we need a car, so we're getting a car. We're gonna get a, you know, a little bit of a less expensive um, car that we can pay off within like a year or two, and then we'll be done with it, and then we will be getting our electric cars subsequent to paying this one off, paying this new one off. We're also gonna keep this one for now, um, but we wanted to get uh, a small SUV that had three rows. So that was the goal to like to stay under a certain amount and try to get the cheapest three row SUV possible that would also be um you know reliable we wanted a brand new car we did not want to go use plus used cars cost just as much as new cars now so it didn't even make sense to buy a used car um so I secured my loan I secured the loan yesterday and then um, I'm going to pick it up today also I secured the loan yesterday uh got the deal did the deal over the phone over the phone and um my paperwork is ready all i gotta do is go in there sign it and pick up the keys so that's what we have to do um i will pr try to record the explanation of like how to use it and you know how to use the car any safety features all that kind of stuff so that y'all can see it i don't know if i'll be able to but i will try um and then yeah i'll give y'all maybe a car tour after that but that that would have to be like after I go home because I gotta go home and um, get some work done
that that's there for you. How did you drop it? So it's just a little bit right here. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So for the stand tire, you would have a spare tire and a tire kit under here. Mm -hmm. So that's your jack, that's to take the lug nuts off. And this isn't a donut, but it's not necessarily a full, full tire. Size. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that sweet spot. Okay. So that is split. So this side can drop by itself and it will drop at a 90 degree angle. Just in case you need it to be flat for anything, any reason. Mm -hmm. And then same for that side, but the two will drop at the same time. Right, okay. And the lever to pull it forward and backward, it'll be right under the seat. We'll just we'll push forward and backward. Okay, okay. And that's pretty much it for the back. Just the mirror, the little knob. Uh huh. So if you flip that to the bottom, that would be your heated side mirrors. Oh, so okay. You, like you're physically turning. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then that would be your heated side mirrors. Okay. For your assistance features that you have on this vehicle, you will push this button right here. It will pop up on the, uh, on the front. Since it's an S, it doesn't have any parking sensors or anything like that. It does have the backup camera, but no like TV. Okay. So that's your front assistance like you were asking about. That pretty much is your emergency brake. So mm -hmm. it works in two different ways. If you're in a, for example, somebody pulled out or backed out of your space and they weren't paying attention, mm -hmm. you'll slam on brakes if you're going under 20. If you're on the road, pretty much anywhere, doing over 20, how it will work is if you're, let's just say, uh, if you're kind of gaining on somebody and you're getting kind of close and the vehicle feels like you're going too fast and you might hit what's in front of you, first it'll beep at you, like it'll let you know, and then a big, uh, like, like a uh, collision warning symbol will pop up on the dash. Okay. And then after that, if you get closer than that, if you choose to brake, it will brake hard, it will brake on the floor, but if you let go of the brake, it won't lock on you. Okay. So you still have full control if you, you know, if you would prefer to break or not, pretty much. So okay. that's there. That's cool. You do have um, heated seats on both sides. Oh. Okay. You have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto standard. You would just have to plug it in with the USB-C. So that's the fast charger. That's there um, for your backup camera. This is put your little brake on. This is what your backup camera would look like. Okay. Me personally, I would just like adjust the contrast and everything to make it look a little better. So it's not like really glary or... Mm, okay. Kind of sweet spot. Okay, so that would be a backup camera. For your radio, you do have... Um, so it's not going to be built in. Okay, but you can still use Sirius XM. And I know they give you a free trial for most cars. Um, and then if you want it to rain slower, even though it's raining hard, you would put it all the way to the left. Or whatever sensitivity you want to know. And if you want it raining or if you want it to wipe faster for less rain, you can just put it all the way to the right and you can leave it there. And then of course you have the traditional like medium speed and then the little fast speed. So it has to just be positioned a certain way for the, sen the sensitivity to take place. Yeah, so for the rain sensitive wipers or the uh, automatic wipers, you just push it up once. Okay. And then for the back, to use those wipers, what you'll do is you'll push it backwards, like forward one time and then they'll start wiping. Oh, okay. If you okay. want to turn on the like the wiper fluid for back there, you would push it and hold it. That's it similar start, to the car we have now. Okay. Then it'll start um, you know wiping and cleaning with the fluid from back there. Mm -hmm. Um other than that, that's pretty much uh, what about like cruise control? Cruise control, gotcha. Okay, so that would be here. You would push this button right here. Mm -hmm. Once you push that button once you see this like kind of symbol pop up, that's how you know it's activated. You would just put whatever speed you want to go max. And then once you're um once you're cruising, you'll pretty much just put set and then it'll start going pretty much. Okay. But you have to be driving for it to be active. So it's um I don't think it's adaptive cruise control because it's in um it's an S, but it's you know the